Welcome back, everyone. It's been quite the year for everybody at Babylon High School. While the community is still recovering from Hurricane Sandy, it celebrated a Long Island football championship, and with a couple more wins, it'll celebrate a state basketball championship. First one in school history. The Panthers go to the Final Four, and they are in the Sports Rush studios. Head coach Chris Mora, Fernando Vasquez, and Jake Carlock. Jake, back for the second time, because you were here with the footballers, so you can ask the questions. <laughs> no? Okay. I'll do this. Let me start with you, Coach. You have two crazy, breathtaking wins. You only get three days in between. After the first one, you're like, just give me some rest. But then you get the second one. What happens? It was uh, the first one, like you said, was an incredible finish. Uh, we played a great team in Wheatley. Uh, they had two brothers, the high-on brothers, who were tremendous shooters. Um, and one of them, I believe it was Josh, hit a three-pointer on us with uh, about, I think, 11 seconds left. We called a timeout, inbounding from the side out, out of bounds. Uh, we drew up a play called Duke that we always run. That's the play uh, here. And that's the play here. It starts with Fernando. Uh, we inbound to him. Jake sets a good screen for him. And uh, Fernando reads the top of the key. If he has an open lane, he drives to the hoop. And that's exactly what he did, and he hit a big shot for us. And that's uh, Ray over there who uh, was sent the second game into overtime. For you, did you ever think, Coach, that you would have to play two games like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're always thinking after that first close one, you know, you're saying, man, I hope I don't have another one like that. But, uh, you know, it ended up being another close game, and uh, these guys are so resilient. They don't panic under pressure. And, uh, you know, during the timeouts, we talked it out. We had a couple guys foul out on us, a couple uh, – Guys come off the bench and pay, play tremendous for us, so uh, it was it was another tremendous ending for us. And you got one of your heroes right next to you, Fernando, who who hit the uh, game winner there in that first game. When he says, "All right, balls in your hands," what kind of player are you? Did you get nervous at all? Uh, I did get nervous. I, it was a lot of pressure. I never had that kind of pressure before, but I knew I was gonna do it for my teammates. And I was ready to win that game. When you drive the lane, and you had a pretty big opening there. Yeah. Were, you, were you like, wow, this, uh, this is kind of easy. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I mean, it was technically an open layup. Yeah. Like, nobody came out. If he had come out, I would have had to take away my left. But as you can see, nobody yeah. came out, so I just took away my right. And the guy there, as you were driving to the left, was about a step too slow. For you, you go from Puerto Rico to Chicago to Hills West, and now this is your first year at Babylon. Yeah. What does it mean to be part of this team? It means a lot because... They're family, and I play for them, and they play for me. And Jake over there already has a football championship, a Long Island championship. Now you got to go to the States. You don't get to play in the States when you play football oh, down here. What does it mean for the student body at Babylon and the school to have this incredible athletic run here? Uh, I mean, it's great in the school. I mean, everyone recognizes us now, and uh, all the Rainmakers go to the game, and they support us, and uh, it's awesome. Got a little shiner there. Oh, yeah. it looks like you still have that. From, it still that looks like you're playing the, football. from the... Uh, Past game. From the past Two game? minutes into the game, he came out and said, you know, he got a good shot in the nose. And, uh, you know, Jake, it takes a lot to hurt Jake Carlisle. Yeah. And uh, he came out for a minute and said, Coach, I, you know, I'm going right back in. But uh, as you can tell, you know, it was a pretty good shot. They didn't know who they were messing with. They got some football <laughs> video. Compare the locker room here in basketball and the locker room in football. As you make the football championship run, what does it mean? Do you see the same things with basketball? Oh, uh, definitely. It's, it's the same. And, uh... We treat every game the same, and uh, we're all seriousness. I mean, we joke around all the time, and uh, we have a lot of fun, but it's all, it all comes down to serious. And uh, we do whatever it takes to get prepared, and uh, we're very serious in the locker room. About 20 seconds, what would it mean to win a state championship? Uh, it would mean a lot. I mean, that's awesome, especially coming after the uh, Long Island uh, Championship in football, now basketball, and to win a state championship, that'd be something, and uh, that'd be special. Same thing for you, Fernando. Can you, can you picture it in your head? What I can't like? picture it because... Like Coach always says, it's meant to be, and I believe it because we came these both games back to back, and it's just meant to be. We should win this. We deserve it. It's meant to be. That's what you say, Coach. I agree with them. This group, uh, just their character alone, is just tremendous. They work hard in practice, and uh, and they deserve to win. And we're prepared to go and do it. All right, guys. Final four bound. Babylon Panthers. Good luck. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back right after this.